Hello, my name is Joe Murray. I'm a gastroenterologist in the Celiac Disease Program at the Mayo Clinic. And today we're talking about genetics and celiac disease. Uh, celiac disease occurs in, only in people who have a genetic predisposition. Now, that could be as many as a third of the population who are genetically at risk. But the great majority of them never get celiac disease. We know a lot about the genetics of celiac disease. We know the major genes, those are what are called the HLA or tissue type genes, are crucially important for the risk for celiac disease. But they're not sufficient and they probably explain less than half of the genetic risk of celiac disease in families. So we and others um, have been searching for the other genes that may be playing a role. And what have we found? Well, we found over 30 different parts of the human genome, that's the human genetic code, that have, have genes that may well associate with risk for celiac disease. And recently, um, uh, in a paper published by Garner et al. in the PLOS One, um, have suggested a new locus um, which may be involved in the risk, genetic risk for celiac disease, as well as suggesting the possibility of other parts of the human genome that may play a role. Now what does all this mean? Well this means that it's complicated, that there is a lot of different genes that each play a small role um, and while each gene itself may not be abnormal, that a collection of different genetic variations together may well be what leads to the higher risk of celiac disease in some people. This will continue to be a puzzle. Think of it as a complex three-dimensional jigsaw puzzle that will take a lot more work to put to fill in the gaps, and we have an awful lot of gaps, in understanding how genetics, in particular in celiac disease, interact with the environment, in particular gluten, to cause celiac disease. Thank you.